how you doing? Mr. DJ's back. Going to outsource Billboard's Hot 100. Now, I'm going to do it differently this time. Instead of put, put, pulling up the... Uh, the online version of Billboard's Hot 100, there's a website you can go to where you can pull up the thumbnails, the actual Hot 100s, and, and I got the thumbnail up for the week of November 26, 1961. Ooh, yes, man, look at this. It's, I can move it around, too, and I, I can see all pretty much all the Hot 100 hits. Now, the song I want to play for you, and I like to play the Lost 45s, particularly some that didn't make Top 40. The only thing about this, it doesn't give the peak position of the record. That's that's the only disadvantage. But, uh, it, 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 well, anyway, uh, I, I like this. I like this setup better than the uh, online version. All right, uh, Billboard's Hot 100, uh, November 26, 1961, a week of Thanksgiving, I suppose. A uh, classic sock, sock hop record. This is this is something that you, you you put on the jukebox, put the record on the jukebox, and you're just sitting there with a malt sh with one of those uh, you're sipping on a milkshake with your girlfriend or boyfriend, and this song is playing. It's a perfect sock hop record. It's a lost forty five though. Gene Thomas with some time. Uh, jumping from crawling from 69 to number 64, week of November 26, 1961, on Billboard's Hot 100 so far for about a month. It debuted at number 90, so it moved. It's moved pretty well so far. Gene Thomas, Gene Thomason, his real name from Texas. He had a couple of hit records, minor hits in the early 60s, and then he dabbled in songwriting for a while. He met a woman later in the 60s. Her name was Debbie Neville. I believe her name was Debbie Neville, and uh, they worked for the Acuff Rose Music Publishing. They were cranking out country-flavored uh, romantic uh, records, the two of them together as a duo did, Acuff Rose Music Publishing label in, in Nashville, Tennessee. But they got signed to the TRX record label, and they came out with their biggest record. Remember Playboy? You don't hear it on the oldie stations anymore. I'm going to get to that song later on, too, when I get back into the 60s. Playboy, summer of 68. Gene and Debbie sold a million copies. They released one album, and that's about it for Gene Thomason, or Gene Thomas. He passed away three years ago from lung cancer. He was about 72, 73 years old, but coming in at number 64 in the week of... November the 26th, 1961. This is Gene Thomas with Sometimes. <laughs> 